it's Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise. Today I'm going to be making a clean and simple card using no stamps. I know it's crazy. I really wanted to do just a really clean and simple card. So let's just go ahead and dig right in. So this is our wood grain cardstock. I just cut it at four and a half down the sheet of paper in half and then scored it at five and a half. So this is going to be my card base. The cool thing about this wood grain cardstock is it's super thick, so it's perfect for making a card base. That is going to be my card base. I've got this pattern paper. I cut this at about one and three quarter inches wide, and I was just going to kind of eyeball it and decide on how far I want it to go down. I'm just going to make a banner shape, and I think I'm going to follow these polka dots right here. I know it's not going to be exactly in the center, so I will... Um, I'll have to adjust a little bit, but I want to kind of follow those since they're going in the diagonal already. Let's see, I'll cut to get up to that polka dot. And same with this side, I'm going to cut right at the edge of those polka dots. See if it gets pretty even. That, that seems pretty even, so I like that. I also want to add some ribbon, so I've got some thick satin ribbon. This is just something that's been retired from Stampin' Up! for a long time. I'm going to have this going across here. I'll just get this attached. I don't want the bow to be huge, but I still want it to be nice and fluffy. This ribbon's nice and big. Okay, that looks pretty good. It looks about like they're about even, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And I'm going to cut these at diagonals too, so it's going to take me a second to get them just right. They're cut at the V shape. I'm going to move this up quite a bit. Just want a little bit of the white showing up at the top. And I'm going to have this hanging down. I want the bow to be in the center of the little banner shape, so I'm going to move it over just a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'll have this on here. I'm going to go ahead and get this attached. That way I can work on adding our sentiment. And again, I said no stamping, so we're going to make a sentiment out of little alphabets. Get this on here. Oops. I don't want it to stick up above the little bow, so i got to be careful where I line it up. If you're worried about that bow moving, you can stick some glue dots underneath the bow and that'll hold the ribbon in place. That looks pretty good to me. So I've got these little alphabets from Basic Gray. I'm just going to spell out thank you and put it on this banner shape. Um, I like to start with my center letter, then I can line up the sentiment a lot better. So thank the center letter is A, so I'll start with the A in the center. That just helps me line things up. I'm going to leave some room up at the top and at the bottom so that I can include an embellishment on this banner if I want to. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to or not. Here's the end. Alright, so it says thank you. Now to decorate this, I'm, I'm going to be using a couple of things. I've got some SP buttons. I've got the Sandcastle color and the Seafoam Mist, so they match the pattern papers. And I also have these enamel dots that I haven't used from my Mind's Eye, The Sweetest Thing collection. These are the Bluebell Smile enamel dots. I want to kind of sprinkle them around, maybe put a couple down here to kind of balance out this section. You can put something down here. So I think I want to put a button right under this sentiment. So I grabbed this tin. This is the Walk the Plank color. It actually matches the ribbon really well. I've got some buttons in here to use. I really like this one. Uh, I like this side actually better than the other side. So that would be cute down there. I'm just going to attach it with this glue and I'll wait and see if this is strong enough. Sometimes you need a strong adhesive like glue dots for some of these buttons. We'll see if this will hold it. 
seems like it might stay. We'll have to see. I might have to check on that later. But I've got some of these enamel dots. I thought I would put a couple of down here and then a little cluster of them up here. So I like these three colors here. I don't want to bring in that yellow. It's a little too bright. So I'm just going to grab some and stick them down here. Okay, so I'm going to also do a little cluster here, of, actually, of smaller ones. Alright, so I think that is it. I think it looks good, all finished up, and we didn't do any stamping. That is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!